My name is Kendra Gail Bielan. I own a company in the health and fitness industry and I am currently in Southern California. I would define freedom as a state of peace, control, and happiness. The way that I create freedom in my life is being in control of my time and being in control of my finances allows me to live a life I don't feel the need to vacation from. I'm in control of my time. So that's a very freeing place to be. I still will live my life to the fullest and I will still live in this zone that I've created regardless of what happens with the election outcome. But inevitably, things, things are gonna change and I'm gonna allow that change to happen and I'm just gonna keep rolling. It's the grind isn't as intense here. You really have to motivate yourself to go out and meet people and connect because people aren't in your face here, they're in their cars. I'd say these days there's a lot of controversy, a lot of turmoil. So it's a combination between exciting and nerve wracking. It's a real view of LA. That's Hollywood and you can see the Hollywood sign. In the Miracle Mile, I'm Douglas Messerly. And this is one of my favorite views of, of Los Angeles. I fell immediately in love with Los Angeles. I'm a real Angelino. We have every language, we have every culture here. This year, it's been very difficult. <laughs> um, the hostility of particularly Trump, but of both camps in some ways, has been extraordinarily painful. Things are not good right now because we have demagoguery and we have hate and that's not what I think America should be about um, and I'm, I'm very troubled by it every day. Language is important to define our realities and our whole beings. Um, it's what you speak, it's how, but it's most importantly how we think and how we know anything in this world. I do feel I'm very free since I write every day, since I think every moment that I possibly can, and since I try to imagine my world in different ways every time I can, I think I'm pretty free, yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I'm challenging myself every day to rethink and to question and to imagine. Uh, if you can't do that, then you really can't be very free. <laughs>